Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Shadowrun Dragonfall. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today, as I think I can do this. No, I'm not 100% sure. I clicked on it. Okay. Okay, okay. I could take the signal converter. So... Janet looks expectantly. I don't know, Janet. Let's not do that. Because I need to find... Yeah, okay. That explains it. <laughs> I uh, Last episode, I, I basically rambled about things and um, I forgot what the line was and I sort of skipped it. Uh, the line wasn't really very specific. It just said that it is possible to get an Apex... What is it called? Impulse Converter. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I didn't realize that we had the optional objective there. And so, yeah, we're supposed to find the thing. Now, is it in this level? Or is it in the third level? Because we have access to the third level. But we also have things in the second level. Like, for example, friends over here. Hello again, friend. What can I do for you? So, about those spirits? Okay. Yeah. That's it for now. So, and he keeps doing that sound. Do you hear that? That's weird. So, I'm thinking the, the little impulse thing is not here at all. I'm thinking it is in the third level. And uh, it's just the conjunction of multiple quests. Dealing with each other. Did I ever come up here? Yes, I did. That's where there were a bunch of spell books. Also, a bunch of mages that I killed. Not just mages, conjurers and healers, and it's multiple people. So, let's go upstairs. Uh, wait, I thought I came through an elevator. Oh, no, yeah. Because uh, the, 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 there's two stairs, but you can use the same stair to, or the same stair set. What, what is it? Stair flight? Maybe. Uh, to get to both the ground level and the third floor, so. Uh, enemies. And that's a spirit. And uh, we don't like that spirit. That spirit is bad. It's a free spirit, which means... Uh, I think it's just that that's what happens when the spirits get unhinged. Uh, you are going to need a little bit of legs. No, not that. This. Did you do it? You did not. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to go with a normal attack. That's a big spirit. Because I'm pretty sure there's another spirit back there. Uh, in fact, hmm. It's a lot of damage. We're gonna kill the spirit. Because that spirit needs to move. Right? Yeah. Iger, you don't have line of sight. Get yourself over here. Uh, let's get an assault rifle. I could do an, a. with an Overwatch. Uh, let's just go for a single shot. There we go. And then Overwatch that way. Uh, the game did not take us out of combat. But we know that's a lie. In the sense that we are still in combat. There it is. Nice! 26 damage. Unfortunately, it's going to have three action points, isn't it? It did not have three action points. 98% chance to hit is amazing. Man, these... I can zoom in. I'm not, not there. Wait, we're still in combat? Uh, don't like that. I don't like it. The game, again, doesn't think I'm in combat. Dietrich, get yourself... Get yourself in here. And, uh, let's do that overwatch. You can't overwatch. Yeah, we're definitely in combat. Oh, so I wasted a little bit of movement. Okay. Hi! Yes, I will see you. Maybe not right now. <laughs> yeah, we wasted a little bit of movement, but tough luck. Uh, so I'm thinking they're all going to approach from this side. Because if I were them, I would. Because I wouldn't, you know, follow him. There we go. Idi can now go deal with this guy. Are they all coming this way? It doesn't look like it. If I could uh, bring you back, that'd be fantastic. And then you get an Overwatch over here. 
you get an overwatch over there and you get an overwatch everywhere if you please and that's it really oh I shouldn't have done that yep should not have done that they're moving hmm that one back there is a bit of a bummer Okay, so we're gonna need some shots. That's 68. Okay. Yeah, that's not too shabby. No, you're gonna stay there. Uh, we could give you another one. That would be nice, especially if I manage to... Yeah, that doesn't happen. I knew it in advance, so just whatever. Uh, let's get Iger the aim capabilities that she needs. She's also going to need the, uh, the line of sight capabilities that she needs. Let's get a uh, dead eye shot. And let's go for a name, an ad, ad shot that misses. And we're fine with that. I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, they're ranged. And they miss. Fantastic. Oh, and you're alone. Well, you're dead then. Hmm. I believe this particular... Hmm. I believe this particular combat, there's too many teeth in that, is mostly, it's scripted, basically. The fact that we can't exit combat is worrisome. But that's how it goes. Okay, overwatch that way. Reload. And overwatch that way as well. That's immediately 40 damage. 50 damage, in fact, and a miss. And a kill. Clear the spirits out of the third floor apartments has been done. And there's nothing here for us, unfortunately. Apart from the spirit... No, there's this dresser. What do we have? A premium thing. That's good. Put it over there. Can you not? What? No. The what? what? Apparently not. Yeah, I don't understand how that works. I don't un don't understand what you're supposed to do in that situation because of the, y you know, the, 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 what? <laughs> how do I switch those items? I don't understand. Either way, let's continue. The mages are very very angry with us, so the options here are there. It is. We've got company, blossom. Yeah, if you get out of line of sight, that it's not going to be much blasting here. Uh, that said, we're here for helping Idi. Let's go ahead and do that. No line of sight on you. That's That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, that's a mage, but you're going to die most likely. I thought there was somebody over there. Minus three. And you're sleeping, yes. Uh, well, in that case, might as well send our conjurer up. Uh, unfortunately, that's not actually... Mm. Oh, there's more of them. Yeah. 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 Edie is going to go in. Oh, Edie is going to go in. So there's a mage and there's another mage. Unfortunately, I am pretty sure there's going to be more of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, at least I landed that. Okay. Uh, what about that one? That's plus one action point. It uses one action point. Uh, that isn't too bad. There's a healer. There's a mage. And there's a Conjurer. Now, the Conjurer is by far, in a way, the most dangerous one. Let's hope I don't miss that. I do miss that. Uh, let's get into control mode. Even though it isn't ideal, you can tank. And uh, you can target some heads. Let's see. Yeah. Let's get Iger back here only line of sight on you. It's no critical chance. 60% critical chance is pretty awesome. Uh, let's try to bring you out. Oh, I didn't realize that was the last. Armor damage. That is uh, Max taking a bunch of damage. And that's an enemy with three action points. 22 damage on ED. Wow. At least you missed. 
Okay, that's actually, that's that's fantastic. So, Edie now has a minus 10% accuracy and his wounded. Not the end of the world. 68. Let's try you. Okay, that, uh, that works. So, you're asleep. You're not asleep, so... I'm pretty sure you're gonna sleep if I do this. Ooh! Wow, I didn't realize that's how it worked. So, if you make them sleep because of the lack of action points... They actually... Wow, fantastic. They actually lose control of their... Wow, that is brutally powerful. That is incredible. Okay, that wasn't very good. Can you not hit the other ones? Because I thought... I was given the impression that you were capable of hitting the other ones. Either way, we're good. Um, let's heal you, Idi. There we go, you're back up on, on target. We got Electro Core. Uh, that is reasonable. Can I lose that? I would like to lose that, thank you. Uh, and let's get you up there. I could do a slash, but I'm worried about this one. 23 on a critical, not too shabby. And then I can do this, hopefully. I can, a lot of damage. Then they complain. Oh, it's that complaining again. Okay, so they are wounded. But they're not taking damage over time. Yeah, we're going to worry about that. Uh, snap fire. Let's just go with normal shots over here. Try to take the healer out. Well, I guess that worked. Mm. Mm hmm Okay. And then... Yeah. Oh, hi! I didn't realize. I'm very sorry. 14 damage. A murder. And then Iger... You need to be flushed. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you need line of sight? Maybe? What's going on? Oh, there it is. 64. There it is. And I think even if you miss on that particular shot, uh, they still get flushed out of the out of their uh, cover. It's very, very powerful. Very powerful ability. It's all for SMGs as well. So we got some Magnificer amulets. Of course. As was expected. In a fetish. What? Oh, it summons a Force Five natural. Oh, sure, sure. It's, it's, it's all good. Sent to the stash. I'll I'll lend it to I'll lend it to uh Yeah, all the spells. Lend it to uh Dietrich when the time comes. We could have also summoned somebody over there, but it's fine. So this is uh really a dead end at the end of the day. I mean, it's a de they are, they're very dead. It's the end of the people who are now dead. We got a console over here. Hmm. A high-pitched, creaky voice shrieks out from the intercom. Go away! I won't let you let any spirits in here! You can't hurt me behind my door! You No, you can't! If I were a spirit, would I be using the intercom? The voice becomes calmer and lowers it in pitch. Huh? I guess I've never heard of a spirit using intercom before. That's a really good point. Are you here to save me? Um, yeah, I'm here to rescue. Let me in. There's a long pause. All right, I'm going to let you in. Be cool, okay? I mean that. No funny stuff. You hear a great deal of fumbling on the other side of the door. Finally, the lock and latches with a click. I can't believe that worked. Uh, I'm not really sure what worked, but it, it, it obviously did. It's a communionist. Oh, it's these guys. Maybe I'm gonna be able to find the the thing, the data jack stuff. Uh, nope, just some drugs, as you do. The man waiting on the other side of the door is wild-eyed and bedraggled. He looks as though he hasn't eaten in weeks. There's almost no flesh on his bones. His beard is long and tangled, and his jacket is smeared with grease. He nearly jumps out of his own skin at the sight of you. Who are you? Are you part of the communion? Have you come to take me back? Please, no, I don't want to go back. He spits and claws at the air in front of him, as if fighting off an invisible attacker. All the while, his eyes are locked on you. No, it isn't safe. The spirits, it's not safe. Calm down. There are no spirits. They're gone. The hallway's empty. A empty? Yes, empty. All is empty without communion. But safe, you say. It's safe. His eyes go wide. It's safe. I can return to communion. He breaks into a ridiculous grin. Which is funny, because ridiculous literally means to laugh. That's where that bit there means, uh, and uh, the grin is sort of related. Anyway, it's what I'm saying is all grins are ridiculous, uh, in uh, in a way. 
I must go now. Yes, communion awaits. And off he goes. He wants to uh, join the communion. He probably should join the eating, and the, in the, the eating part, because of all the communion. I don't know if they have that, because uh, he's hungry. He looks hungry, or looked apparently. Uh, we got a lot of dirty things back here, but no data jack or anything. Maybe I I can find it d downstairs. Yeah, it's probably gonna be fine. There really isn't anything. No entrance over here. No, there, there's something. Look at that. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Either way, ground floor. This is a big level, by the way. That's why the loading screen took forever. Oh, I mean, you didn't see it taking forever, but uh, it took forever. <laughs> I had to, I had to make a cut. Uh, hey, dude. The attendant behind the counter is an uncommonly fine featured dwarf, and uh, doesn't have anything for me. Hmm. You do though. Don't you? Yes. You're back. Why? I'm looking for a data jack impulse transmitter. I've got what you need. He looks you up and down, his eyes lingering on the gear you're carrying. 1,000 new yen, no less. A thousand? Can't you make me a deal? He looks baffled. Why would I do that? Because you like me? Not that much, I don't. Are you serious? I don't have enough money for this. Nobody warned me about this. I can sell items, though. I didn't realize that's a possibility. I think I learned this as well very late in the, in the um, Hong Kong Let's Play. Fine with me. We're never going to use this sniper rifle. Sell. Thank you. Hey, I'm back for that transmitter. Yeah? You got a thousand million? I got it. A thousand, just as we agreed. We didn't, but anyway. All yours. Pleasure doing business. What a terrible person. Doesn't cut me a deal. I mean... <laughs> I'm obviously being facetious. Uh, but third floor, it is not where we're going. Fortunately, there's no lo loading screens between these things. There's only the fade to black. It is the second floor that I need to go to. And now we can... I suppose it's substituting the part more than anything is just making sure it's like it's like fallout one where you don't get it's the water chip situation if you've never played fallout one you definitely should because it's an amazing game and uh one of the best rpgs ever made uh so the hacker's terminal i can modify the impulse transmitter and replace the signal converter with it after a few minutes of work the transmitter is modified and installed you now have the converter and the terminal is still working and i'm gonna step away and uh, i expect nothing to change here with janet because no yeah all fixed up everybody wins you got your terminal and uh, i've got my part you see the tension drain out of her thank you i'm glad this could end without bloodshed there's been enough of that around here recently yep sure looks that way didn't she have a form-fitting suit? Maybe she has a jacket over it, and that's the suit underneath. I thought that was a different thing. Either way, let's up. I need to look up what a form-fitting thing is, because I thought it was like those rubber suits that are, uh, you know, form as in your body form fitting. Either way, um, and that's enough for right now. We can talk to what's his name, Parson. That's right, and uh, give him the the bit. I've recovered the part of your uh, the parts for your terminal. Ah, excellent, my brother. Let me see them, if you please. Parsons' smile disappears for a moment as he studies the part. His brow furrows in concentration. As suddenly as it disappeared, the smile returns. Yes, there's. Th these are the parts that I need. Thank you, friend. I trust that was no trouble. That you were able to attain them without bloodshed. Of course, says Blitz. You've got nothing to worry about, friend. No bloodshed at all. Parsons' face lights up. Oh, that's wonderful news. Truly, truly wonderful. And now I have my end of the deal to uphold. If you're still hell-bent on meeting with Trithemius, take the stairs up to the third floor. You'll find an abandoned apartment at the end of the hall. Look for the... Hiccup, I'm sorry. Look for the stylized M painted on the wall. It looks like two crude lightning bolts facing one another. That's Trithemius' personal sigil. There's an old bookcase in the very back of the apartment. Under the second shelf from the bottom, you'll find a button that opens the door to Trithemius' tri hideout. How do you know all this? 
because that abandoned apartment was once mine. In the days before I discovered the peace of communion, I was a very different man. I had need of such contrivances. He, his smile widens. But not anymore. Finally, I am at peace. Hmm. Hmm. So we didn't really get the choice that I was talking about uh, in regards to the communion. Not yet. Because the choice was basically not to screw up the... Everybody here. <laughs> Uh, where is this stylized M? Because it sounded kind of cool. Oh, the map might point. Wasn't it over here? No. I really don't remember. There are things all over the place, though. Oh, look at that. Yeah, th these are just the entrances for the... For the... The little, uh... Little robot. We can use ours, I think, even out of combat, if we had one, which we don't, because we're not a rigger. There's another one up there. Oh, that's there it is. Where's this M that he, he talked about? I have no idea. I don't think there's any M. But we did it. Maybe there is a, out here or something? Oh, there it is. That's the M. That's not a stylized M. It's a stylized person. You know, because that's the shoulders and that's the head. It's always stylized because it's you know it's drawn, so it has it's necessarily stylized, unless it's just a photograph, even though it's done, uh, drawn. Who's this person? Trithemius, right? Just the person I was looking for. Good, good stuff. You're gonna die a lot. Do you realize this? A rail thin elf wearing a comically ornate wizard's robe stands at the corner of the room. When he speaks, his voice wavers and cracks. So you're the one who's been turning my home upside down. I assume that you come in search of my head at all Orlick's behest. I warn you, stranger. He cannot be trusted. Uh. <laughs> it's Berlin. 2054. Trusted soul 2053. Uh. You sound. It sounds like you're about to make me a proposition. Very perceptive, yes. I do intend to make you a counter proposal, and you'd be wise to listen to it. Ulrich may have a use for you now, but as soon as this no longer holds, he will kill you. He steeples his fingers, looking for all the world, or looking for all the world like a kid in a Halloween costume. I would l offer you an alternative. What is it that he has offered you for your assistance? I'm sure we can reach an equally beneficial arrangement. We need to get downstairs into the basement. Well then, our our purposes run parallel. To reach the basement, you must use the elevator. The stairs will not reach it. There's no other way. When we took over the uh, uh, from the Arbiters, I removed the power coupling from the elevator controls. Had to keep Ulrich out of his primary armor. Armory, rather. In exchange, Ulrich removed the elevator control chip. A petty move, presumably to prevent us from accessing the same armory after he retreated. If you agree to kill him, uh, kill him I'll give you the part that I removed. Then all you have to do is take the chip off Ulrich's stinking corpse. Trust me, that's the only way you will ever lay hands on it. Once your, useful, your, once your usefulness to him has run its course, he will devote all of his strength to crushing you. Honestly, boss, says Dietrich, I don't think that I believe either of them. Trithemius inclines his head. Well, just before he inclines his head, I'm going to say that if both of them are lying, then that's pretty good, because what he's claiming here is that I will be attacked by Ulrich as soon as I r turn the quest in. And if that is a false, is if that's false, then I'm okay with it. <laughs> I Yeah, I'm not going to get attacked by him. That sounds like a good deal. Uh, if Ulrich is lying, though, eh, I guess that's a different thing altogether. To show you how serious I am, I will offer you a further boon for dealing with Ulrich as he deserves. A magical item of great inscrutable power or a great and inscrutable power. With it, you may call a powerful spirit to your side to defend you and to crush your enemies. Do my bidding, and this will be yours for the taking. Well, I guess that's a chance I'm going to ta have to take. Time to die. The elf's lips twist into a cruel smile. Big mistake, pal. You're going to burn for that. I'm not, I'm really not, but cute that you think I am. Well, Max is, is burning a little bit. Please don't destroy Max. 
I need a little bit of repairs there. Okay, well, I also need a little bit of time because we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Shadowrun Dragonfall. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.